Hi, my name is Eloise Jones, and this is my presentation for Graphic and Web Design Semester 2. As we scroll down my portfolio website to the first assignment, which is HTML5 Up, we click on the link, and this is the first website. With this website, I found that the coding aspects were a bit more difficult than expected. Um, but however, I like the styling aspects, so the typeface and the colour scheme, like the yellow and blues, I really liked as it goes with the theme, I feel. I enjoyed adding this rotating carousel as it challenged my coding abilities. And if you scroll down, the most challenging part I found was adding the map into it, embedding it, because it's interactive. However, this is a very useful skill to now have and after many trial and error, I found that it works really well on the site. Um, in the future, I think I would like to have a bit more interactivity in this page. Um, perhaps add things a bit more central and have a bit more, yeah, like I said, interactivity. So have more clickable things. However, at the top, I feel like on a mobile device especially, you'll see in the images coming that the logo goes up and down where it should stay in the same place. Um, in future I'd like to fix this. So with the logo, these are my first iterations of the logo, you can see I went for the one on the right. In future I'd like to switch it up and have a few more that look more readable. This is my design for the mobile first website and you can see the website does mirror this in the actual production. So these are the telephone mobile images of the website what it looks like on mobile which i find really interactive and mobile first they did well so for the second assignment it was the bootstrap website i find this um, a lot harder with the coding aspect because there was no templates that you could use however from my experience with the last assignment and just building up my coding skill set, I found that I could Im use a lot of those skills to create a working website. My favourite part of the website is the carousel as it looks professional and does well. I like the colour schemes of the light green and the dark green. I think it works really well. Um, overall, if you scroll down, you can see all sorts um, of the different parts of the website so the permanent collection first Fridays with the different columns um, in future I think I'd like to add a lot more interactability on this website um, but for my ability which is quite low of coding I feel that this is well I'm really proud of myself that I managed to code this from no templates and it look sleek and professional and work well mobile first uh, in general. In future I would like to revisit this and add a few more aspects that make it look more professional and more sleek. So this is what I wanted the website to look like mobile first and in the pictures to come it does look like this on the mobile site. Here we are. So I've included the picture where you can see the carousel moving um, and also the different columns. I feel like these work really well mobile first and I'm really proud of how it turned out. So as we scroll down again for the graphic design pieces of the Bootstrap website, I really enjoyed creating these. However, I would have liked to add a bit more typeface creativity. Um, but my lack of experience of InDesign, because I usually edit things on Photoshop, um, dragged me down a little bit. But with the typeface, I feel it fits the sort of whimsical nature of Alice in Wonderland. My favourite aspect of doing this was erasing the background and making it blend in, because I found that really rewarding. And I found that the more I did it, the better I got at it. Especially with this mouse design, I extended the water even further than it went on the image to add the flow of the text and the type. I think this worked really well and with the stupidest it was on a slight curve. So this is what I originally planned and this is the plan for the typeface and I feel like I stuck mostly with it. Thank you.